Hello again, and 3 yug Jason here. Figured we'd do a quick familiarization video for those that haven't used web SDR or the online SDRs to uh, listen to their signal or other signals out there. Uh, people use them as a second receiver for their home station or just to listen shortwave or ham bands. So we figured we'd go through a little bit here real quick. Uh, the web address is websdr.org, as you see there. You go there, and this is the main page. Uh, it has a whole list of SDRs from all over the world. You go down the page here to the bottom, and you can see a map that shows the location of all the SDRs. You can scroll the mouse and zoom in there, or the plus and minus. Move it around, take a look, and see. See several here in the U.S., a lot in Europe. And the numbers in those little bubbles represent the numbers on the list on the right-hand side of the page. So if you see a location like this one just up above Maine into Canada, number 103, you can scroll up the list to find 103 on the right-hand side of the page. And there it is in New Brunswick, Canada. So... I'm going to go and show you another option to use, and that's filtering it by band and region. So, and it also you have the ability to fil filter by megahertz. Um, so, what I usually do is come in and select the band that I want to go listen on. I'll select North America, one of my favorites, K3FEF. Up in Pennsylvania has a really good SDR there. So you see his in Milford, Pennsylvania. The bands, these are the frequency ranges that it covers. Listed here in the center column. And then a description of the antennas for those bands. So it gives you quite a bit of information right there on each one. So you can get an idea if it's a, a dipole or a, a small antenna. Uh, there's a vertical Cushcraft R7 on the list, uh, omnidirectional antennas, things like that. So uh, I already have up the uh, K3FEFs SDR. Once you click on that link on the page there, it will take you to that same website. So switch here and... Uh, Try to bring in a little bit of audio. Here, uh, maybe in the background there just a little bit. I won't bring it up too loud. But um, you can see the signals coming across. I have zoomed in. Usually it's zoomed out. Um, I put my mouse over top of the waterfall up here and scroll with the mouse wheel. And I can roll in and out and scroll to the area of the band I want. Also, you have a frequency input where you can input a frequency and put that in. Some of them aren't quite on frequency, so you have to tune a little bit, and that's where these minuses and plus in the kilohertz, you can go up and down certain amounts, depending on what they have them set at. Next window down is your bandwidth. You can go up to higher bandwidth and here a wider or n narrow the bandwidth. Uh, right now we're in sideband 2.4 kilohertz. Usually I bump that up to 2.8 to 3, somewhere in that area. But you have CW, wide and narrow, lower sideband, upper sideband, AM and FM selections all in there. The next window over, you have your volume control. You can turn up and down. You got an S meter. You can mute it, turn on squelch, auto notch, things like that. And if you're doing tests, I found this very handy in the past. If I was doing audio tests or adjusting my audio with my radio, I'd get on the band, tune to an open section, and transmit a short test transmission. And I would tune the SDR for that same frequency. Um, and then this audio recording feature here comes in very handy. 
because you can hit start. It'll start recording, stop, and then you can download and listen to the playback of that audio that you just recorded. Uh, there's a lot of other features in the waterfall, zoom in and out, which we did with the scroll on the mouse. Um, speed, size, view of the waterfall, you can adjust. You can see all the bands that this SDR site can carry, and some people have marked things. If we zoom out, there's AM stations, AM carrier net, uh, some other things in there. Right now we're on the Virginia phone that's in the background there. But um, you can also adjust the frequency by sliding the yellow bar in the center, moving up and down. You can adjust the bandwidth here and on this side. Um, it's pretty easy. It's a nice feature. As I said, if you're having problems hearing the station you can use these sdrs to your advantage find one that you can hear the station a lot better than maybe your home station is and if they're hearing you you can use it to have a conversation back and forth still um, it's very good for testing out your audio hearing what you sound like you do have to make sure you're pretty much lined up as i said some of these can be just a little bit off plus or minus uh about point zero three plus or minus in there it's easy to figure out by going onto a station and then going up and down to get them tuned in the way they're supposed to sound and then you'll know what the plus or minus you need to keep in there is for this individual sdr they're all different but they're not too bad um that's about it uh that i can think of there are some problems where Chrome audio start uh, over here on the right-hand side of the page. If you're running Chrome, it may have a little bit of a problem. You may have to upload the latest Java. If you're not getting sound, there's some some small issues. Um, there's some information at the top of the pages as well. But I uh, hope that helps. I'll give you a little crash course in using the online web SDR. Bring the audio up a little bit so you can hear. And let's see, this audio should come up too. All right, you have a good one, George. See you later. In four, BCC clear. All right, Benny, good to hear you. And uh, well, maybe hey, Benny. not big signals coming in, but uh, a little bit of audio there. Great tool to use. Uh, hope you enjoy it. And check the check the online web SDRs out at www.websdr.org and uh, get in there and check out some of the foreign uh, web SDRs also. The uh, I've got it filtered now, but it filters the map down also. You go to Europe on 80 meters. Get all those. That you can check into on 80 meters throughout uh, throughout that part of Europe there. So check them out, have fun, and enjoy. Hope this helped. And three YUG.